In this video, we're going to look at how to convert percentages to fractions. We're going to break it up into four types. The first type is the simplest one, which involves no simplifying. The second type needs simplifying. The third type has decimals and the last has fractions. Let's start off with the first type. This is the simplest because it involves no simplifying. The word percent means out of 100. So for question A, when we have 13%, this is the same as saying 13 out of 100. We can write this as a fraction as 13 over 100. And because this can't be simplified, 13% is equal to 13 over 100 as a fraction. Question B, 39%. Same thing, 39% means 39 out of 100. So this can be written as a fraction as 39 over 100. And because it can't be simplified, 39% is simply 39 over 100. For 187%, this is the same as 187 out of 100. We can write this as 187 over 100. This is an improper fraction, so we can convert this to a mixed fraction as 187 over 100. 87 over 100 can't be simplified, so therefore 187% is the same as one whole and 87 over 100. The next type is slightly harder because this time we need to simplify the fraction. For question A, 40%, we can write this as 40 out of 100 as a fraction. We can simplify this fraction further by dividing both top and bottom by the common factor of 20. This reduces it to 2 over 5. Therefore, 40% is equivalent to 2 fifths as a fraction. The next one, 45%, is the same as 45 out of 100. We can simplify by dividing both the top and the bottom by the common factor 5. This reduces it to 9 over 20. So therefore, 45% is the same as 9 over 20th as a fraction. For question C, we have got 150% which is the same as 150 over 100. We can start the cancellation by crossing off the zero. This reduces it to 15 over 10. Continue to divide both top and bottom by the common factor of five. This then gives us three over two or one and a half, which is a mixed fraction. So therefore, 150% is the same as one and a half. The third type involves decimals. Students often get confused with these types, but the strategies are pretty much the same. So let's start off with question A, 34.7%. Our first step would be to express this as a fraction, 34.7 out of 100. We want to convert the numerator into a whole number, and we do this by multiplying the top and the bottom by 10. Remember, when we multiply top and bottom by 10, this is the same as multiplying the entire fraction by one, and when we multiply anything by one, the value doesn't change. What this does is on the top, the decimal point will move one place to the right, converting it to a whole number, and on the bottom, 100 times 10 will become 1,000. So we're going to get 347 over 1,000. This can't be simplified, so therefore 34.7% is equal to 347 over 1,000. Question B, we've got 2.75%. Same thing, we're first going to write this as 2.75 over 100. This time 2.75 has got two decimal places, so we want to convert that into a whole number simply by multiplying the top and the bottom by 100. When we multiply by 100, the decimal point on the top will move two places to the right. This will give us 275 on the top. 100 times 100 will give us 10,000. This fraction can be further simplified by dividing the top and the bottom by 25. So our final answer will then be 11 over 400. So therefore, 2.75% is equal to 11 out of 400.
C, we have got 0.015%. We're going to start off by writing this as 0.015 over 100. We're going to multiply top and bottom by 1000 this time. This will move the decimal point three places to the right, making 0.015 into a whole number. So we have 15, 100 times 10,000 is going to give us 100,000. This time we can simplify the fraction by dividing the top and the bottom by the common factor of five, and our final answer then becomes three over 20,000. So therefore, 0.015%, this is quite small, less than 1%, is equivalent to 3 over 20,000. Our last type is probably the most confusing for many students because this time our percentages also has fractions in it as well. Nevertheless, the strategies are the same. Question A, we've got 3 fifth percent. We can write this as 3 fifth out of 100. And we're going to get rid of the 5 on the denominator of 3 fifths simply by multiplying the top and the bottom by 5. Remember when we multiply top and bottom by 5, 5 over 5 is the same as 1, so no, we're not changing the expression. However, this 5 will cancel out with the 5 on the denominator, so we're going to get 3 on top, 100 times 5 is 500, therefore 3 fifth percent is equal to 3 out of 500 as a fraction. Second example, 5 and a half percent. We begin by writing this as 5 and a half out of 100. What we're going to do now is we're going to convert 5 and a half, which is a mixed fraction, into an improper fraction. Remember, 5 and a half is the same as 5 times 2 plus 1 over 2, which is 11 over 2. So we can rewrite this as 11 over 2 out of 100. Now we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. The 2s will cancel each other out, so we're going to get 11 on top, and on the bottom we have 100 times 2, which is 200. Therefore, 5.5% is the same as 11 out of 200 as a fraction. A last example, we have 12 and 2 9 percent. We begin by writing this as 12 and 2 9 over 100. And again, we're going to convert 12 and 2 9 into an improper fraction. So 12 and 2 9 is the same as 12 times 9 plus 2 over 9. This is the same as 110 over 9. So we rewrite this as 110 over 9 over 100. This time we multiply the top and the bottom by 9. This cancels out the 9. And so we're going to get 110 on top, 900 on the bottom. And we can simplify this by crossing off the 0, which is the same as dividing by 10. And this is equal to 11 over 90. Therefore, 12 and 2 9 percent as a fraction is 11 out of 90. Thank you for watching everyone. Hope this video was able to help you better understand how to convert percentages to fractions. If you are interested in videos on this topic or other maths topics, please have a look at our channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We release videos on various maths topics weekly and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.